Hello guys, what is up? It is your boy Mr. Wittis. Uh, I am here for a quick little rant. It is not going to be long at all. I mean, maybe like four or three minutes. It is not going to be long. I just have a little theory that I have to dish out to y'all. I I, my mind just cannot keep it out. You know, it just keeps ringing in my head. I think that the reason why Utah lost his special grace status in the beginning of JJK is because he made a binding vow as a child when he cursed her. Ghetto states that um, Utah has the ability to curse his loved ones but i don't think that's what happens i don't think it's a technique you know that uh just popped up out of nowhere there's actually a very good theory on why yuta actually cursed rika i will explain it to you before i move on it is just a little thing you know it is very plausible the theory is that rika actually has her own curse technique and it is said that her parents have died gruesomely in a bizarre accident i think that uh the the I believe that the theory says that Rika can curse her, you know, own loved ones, and that's how her parents died. They returned to spirits. Maybe she was in the hospital because of some mental problems from seeing them as spirits. And I think that Yuta copied that curse technique and cursed her. But when he did it, he must have done a binding vow. Now, for example, let's think of this hypothetical. In that moment, of course, Yuta was like, oh, I don't want Rika to die. I don't want her to die. I just met her. She's really nice. You know, I like her. But just also keep in mind that he's a child. Yes, it is anime. Love is like super easy in anime, extremely sometimes. It's almost like childlike. But JJK is more into the realistic stuff. It hits you hard with emotion. It is very harsh. If someone dies, well, it is what it is in JJK. But Yuta must have been thinking that he would give up anything for Rika to come back. And as his emotions swelled up, he must have made a binding vow. Rika for him giving out his cursed energy. But that cursed energy became bound to her. And that is why I think that Rika... If she had never, ever, you know, had that kind of impression of you on Yuta, especially in the love aspect, I don't think that he would have bound his cursed energy to her, and thus he wouldn't need her to execute his power. To me, it feels as if Yuta is weaker than he actually should be. Um, I mean, people like to say that Yuta is only strong because of Rika, but they're stupid, and they don't realize that Yuta made Rika. Like, if Rika died, she never would have become a curse if Yuta didn't know her, like... She would just die. She would have no attachments to the world that are that strong. There is no way that Rika on her own is like a very talented Jujutsu sorcerer. The reason why Rika exists is because of Yuta. So I don't like people like try to say like downplay Yuta. Yuta is so strong that as a fucking child, he made a special grade cursed spirit. All right. Like he made one. He made a special niggas like Jogo and Hanami are born, are born from like the collective fear of things. Yuta made a special great spirit just from his own emotions. Stop talking. All right. Just, just stop. That's crazy. People are trying to like make everything so bizarre for no reason. Clearly, you haven't read the manga. So go read the manga. If so you haven't read the manga or watched the movie, the movie is not everywhere yet. But, you know, go read the manga. All right. Um, that is my own little theory. I think personally that Yuta made a binding vow and that is why he is not as strong as he should be. And I think that his next step as a Jutsu Shi is that he will have to let go of Rika once again, but accept that his own power is his own. Not that Yuta does doubt himself, but he, he doesn't like, Yuta is nice, but he doesn't like act humble. When Yuta wants to do something, he will do it. He's not a humble guy. He's just a nice guy. There's a difference. But I think that part of himself still attaches himself to Rika, which is a curse in its own, which is, it's very appropriate, is JJK. But I think that when he finally lets go of you, like Rika, for real, for real, his cursed energy might just bounce back, you know, return to where it was supposed to be instead of being a race with Rika. Now, that could also sound preposterous because cursed energy is just cursed energy. But binding vows take away cursed energy in different ways and manipulate it in very different ways. Like how heavenly restriction works. That in itself is a binding vow. You take away cursed energy. You can completely erase it if you want for pure strength so yeah uh i'm done go 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 wait for me to post the uh, uh alkg what if you're welcome by the way all right peace i'm gone